Well, good evening, good evening, good evening. It is Tuesday and it's the 26th of November 2013. And I say this every week, but where is it going? It's like 29 days to that day that, uh, you know, we're all going to get depressed about, eat too much and drink too much and wear all the batteries out. But hey ho! <laughs> Bar humbug. Now I love Christmas. Um, but yes, it's going so quick, isn't it? And uh, <sighs> hair's coming out, teeth are falling out. We're getting old. <laughs> oh dear. Right. No, I'm, I'm only fooling with you, my gentle viewers. Uh, yes, it is the 26th of November 2013. And you, my friends, you're watching Vapor Scene. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health E Vape. UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e liquid Yes, good evening. It is Tuesday and it is Vapor Scene. I blame this juice, you know. You know the one I told you about last week, the 26 milligram stuff? Uh, even though I've mixed it down with a bit of uh, lice or peach, um, <laughs> sends me do lally this stuff. Very nice. I do like it a lot and I'm still loving the VTR, I have to say. Yes, we have got uh, the usual shenanigans coming up. We've got uh, Show Us Yours shortly. Um, I'm going to be playing out the video that Dave did yesterday. Uh, with a little bit of editing um, and um, showing you some slides after that about what we need to do. Uh, I'm also going to be looking at this which is the cross verbal voltage pipe that I showed you on last week's show. Um, I have a bit of VT coming about that in part two uh, and you'll see there that it's actually in 18350 configuration um, but in the video it's going to be in 18650. Oh yes, but I digress. Um, we need to really talk about the video that Dave did last night and what he shared. Um, and I'm going to play the video first uh, and then I will play you some other stuff um, about that or I'll show you some other stuff about that. So uh, this is what Dave said last night. The Lithuanian Presidency has asked the Commission to draft some documentation which was leaked and the, um, the leak and the documentation is available both at Clive Bates's blog and the nicotine policy site uh, Jerry Stimson's place. There's links off to it there and I'm sure links will appear in chat. But the bottom line on this is these are the recommendations that are the starting point for further negotiations which happen on the 3rd of December. These proposals that the Lithuanian Presidency and the Commission have come up with will allow only single-use cartridges, no refillable units, no tanks, none of the kind of stuff that we use on a daily basis. That? No. That means no juice that can be sold in the EU. It allows only for flavours that are already approved for use in NRT unless those flavours are attractive to children and non-smokers. Um, who decides? Who indeed? It limits the nicotine density, the nicotine concentration to 20 milligrams per milliliter maximum without any justification whatever. That's even worse than the 30 milligram that was proposed in Amendment 170. All right, it's better than the 4 milligram that we started with, but it's completely arbitrary. And it limits the nicotine content of any cartomizer, because there would only be cartomizers that would be allowed, to just 10 milligrams in a unit. And that is effectively two fags worth, if you want to do a cigarette equivalent. And again, it's extremely limited. But it gets worse than that because it then allows only devices that deliver nicotine doses consistently and uniformly. Let me tell you something now. Nothing currently on the market 
does. Cigarettes don't. In fact, uh, according to Dr. Farsalinos, that is almost impossible to comply with. It basically means it's an outright ban. It bans all advertising in press or printed publications, except trade publications, on radio and on TV and other audio-visual services and the internet through Information Society services. Guess what Vapertrails.tv is? It's an Information Society service. We would be banned. It bans e-cigarette sponsorships that have cross-border impact. Anything that might be shown on TV would make it very difficult. And there are all kinds of other limitations. But effectively, effectively, this is a ban. It is a de facto ban. They are talking about any of the juices that are used in these things would have to be completely free of all impurities. Let me tell you that NRT is not completely free of all impurities. Lots and lots of tests have shown NRT, the likes of gums, patches, the inhalators, even the new thing you put on your tongue, all have traces of tobacco-specific nitrosamines in them. So by saying that, it's impossible to comply. This is, in effect, an outright ban. So what can you do to stop this from happening? Very simple. You need to contact your MP. You can't just sit there, contact them, ring them, make an appointment to go and see them, take everything you have, beg with them, plead with them, threaten them, whatever you need to do, make them understand. This could be the end of e-cigs in the EU. It could be the end of e-cigs worldwide. I smell the rotten hand of Big Pharma in this. And I'm not normally one to go in for this kind of conspiracy theory, but this stinks. It's corrupt. It needs to be attacked. We need to make a noise, the loudest noise we've ever made. We know we can do this. We need to band together now as one huge community and tell the people in Brussels, tell the Commission, tell our local parliaments, this shall not pass. We won't let it go without making a loud noise about it. And I hope everybody's with me. Yes, so that was a little bit of an edited video. It's slightly longer on, uh, on the YouTube channel, so please go and see the whole thing. Uh, I just wanted to put some graphics in there uh, and to show people a little bit more about how you could do things. And if you go to um, Clive's blog, if you haven't been there already, it's clivebates.com and then the forward slash question mark or you can just follow the link on his site and you will get to the counterfactual uh, which is a fantastic blog and if you don't subscribe to it already uh, it's well worth looking at all the time and also if you're not on Twitter get on Twitter and follow Clive Bates because he puts out some great stuff. On there you will see a link to this site uh, and here I am the link to the site is there. The EU report is the top one and that will take you to this document and this document it's a it's a long document but it's worth reading uh, and it does tell you all the things that Dave was talking about there. Vape Trials TV will be outlawed, YouTube reviewers will be outlawed, forums will be outlawed. They're gonna they're trying to take away everything and we have to stop them. There's no if, no buts, no maybes. If we don't do something, if we don't go and see our MPs and bother our MPs and bother our MEPs, we're not going to win it. Uh, if you go to this site, dayworkforyou.com, put your postcode in, that'll tell you your MP or your MEP. You've also got writetothem.com. Get the same information from both those places. On the uh, dayworkforyou.com, you can also track uh, MPs' questions, which I'm still waiting on the MPs questions that I asked for Dan Jarvis to uh, table to Jane Ellison uh, and I'm still waiting for the update that that has happened um, but as soon as it does I will bring it to you. Don't forget Dave is going down to London tomorrow with the letter um, and unfortunately Jane Ellison is not going to be meeting him but somebody from the health department will and then he'll be back in the studio tomorrow night updating on what has happened uh, and what we're going to do uh, and also Chris Choi 
from ITV, who presents a programme called Tonight, amongst other things. He's the uh, ITN Consumer Affairs uh, journalist. He will be in the studio tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, so please tune into that because we have to put as much effort as we have done with the, the balloons, which we have done for the other things that we have got under our skin. We need to do this, uh, otherwise it's all gone. So, there you go. I know that video has been out there already. It has to be seen as many times as possible, so I make no apologies for showing it again tonight. Um, we're going to move on now, and we're going to go into this week's show as yours, which was so rudely interrupted last week by, by my three-second power cut <laughs> right at the end of last week's show, uh, which caused no end of, of, uh, of strife because the recording didn't uh, happen either. But there you go. So we're going to go into this week's show as yours. Then we're going to see who's won. So see you in about two minutes. And now it's time for Show As Yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Yes, that was this week's show as yours. And in answer to your question, uh, I think it was Rachel. Was it Rachel? Uh, possibly. Uh, I'm just looking up the chat now. It's scrolled past. Um, the music is by a guy called Kevin McLeod. Uh, I use his music every week and I try to change the track every week as well. He's got lots of stuff uh, that I use. Um, so that's who it is uh, and yes if I made the slides any slower uh, then it would go on for far too long really uh, and that was uh, actually three minutes and four seconds um, so uh, I do try to keep it moving um, but there you go you can always watch back 
on YouTube. Yes, while it's still there. Uh, anyway, let's go to see who has won this week. And it is, it's Daryl, AKA Brutalness, um, with his picture that he sent in. Congratulations, Daryl. I will be emailing you after the show and I will tell you how you get your bottle of juice. Uh, and if you would like to do the same, you know what to do. Send me an email, vaporscene at vaportrails.tv. By Tuesday noon, you'll go into that week's draw, uh, go into that week's video as well, uh, and you could be having the free bottle of juice while it's still available. Yes. Okay, I'm running over already because I've already um, vented quite a lot um, in the first half. So we're going to go to the ads. When we come back, we're going to be looking at the cross pipe. Yes. So, see you in two. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. Now it's back to Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And indeed, welcome back to part two. Uh, and if you remember last week's show, I showed you um, this, which was the Cross E-Pipe uh, Variable Voltage Mod. Um, it's a uh, 18350 and an 18650. So let me show you when I've got the right video and it's coming up. <laughs> uh, let me show you uh, what it's all about. See you in a minute. And here we are this week with the Cross, uh, which is a pipe mod. Uh, it's made by fireesig.com uh, and I got this from Atif at UK eSig store. Uh, it's currently retailing at £49.98, uh, which isn't bad, I have to say. Uh, it is a variable voltage pipe mod and it will take an 18350 as well as an 18650 battery with a little extension tube that you get with it. So uh, let's have a look at what's in here. So you open the box and what do you get? Well, you get a little instruction manual uh, and this tells you basically how it goes together, how to put the batteries in, how to change the voltage and also how to take apart your clearomizer, which is a bottom fed clearomizer. Also tells you there about uh, charging batteries and what to do and what not to do. So little instruction booklet there, we'll put that to one side. Uh, and 
here is the cross. Uh, and let me explain what this little bit is, first of all. This is an extension tube um, which fits on down here, which will make this into an 18650 mod instead of an 18350. So uh, we'll do that in a second, but let's take this out. And so this is what you get in the box. And I've broken it down and taken the atomizer off for you. You get a bundled 18350 Trust Fire battery. Uh, and this is a 3.7 volt lithium ion and it's a 1200 milliamp hour battery. You get a little extension tube which you can turn this from an 18350 mod into an 18650. And we can use one of those. We'll do that shortly. You get the main verbal voltage cross mod, uh, and then you get a 2mm bottom-fed atomizer, uh, which is rebuildable, and it comes completely apart. And we'll look at that in a moment. If we just take a look at the main mod itself, and if I just do a little zoom, there we go. You can see there that the uh, on, off, and fire button is on the stem, just below where your atomizer is going to fit. You have the variable voltage selector on the bottom, um, which is graduated, and it goes from 3.2 volts all the way up to 4.8 volts. And you'll see there, there's a little red line on the selector, and there's a little silver line on the mod itself, and it clicks rather nicely through, and then you can just see where you are. Uh, and I say it goes all the way up to 4.8 volts. So we'll have a look at the voltages very shortly. Battery insertion, as you would expect. Unscrew the bottom end cap and insert your battery positive side first into the mod and then screw in the end cap, which is never easy when you're trying to keep everything in shot, I have to say. <laughs> but there you go and we have the battery installed. It's a five click on, five click off. So it's currently off. So we do five clicks and it blinks three times and tells us that it's on. And then there we go. And to turn off again, five clicks off and it blinks and there you go. So if you're gonna have it in your pocket, five clicks will turn it off. Um, let's look at the voltages and I'll put the tanker meter on and we'll see what it comes up with. So I've turned it on, and we're currently, apparently, at 3.2 volts. So let's have a look. And it's saying, indeed, 3.2. We'll look at the top end, because those are always the two that tend to be different. And the top end is saying 4.8 volts. So it's right so far. Uh, we'll just I'll spin it round and get it into the right place. I shall put it on uh, midpoint. So this should be somewhere around 4 volts. And it is just over 4 volts. So um, voltage-wise, it seems to uh, do, do what it says on the tin. Um, I have found that with the atomizer on, I put it on its end, it falls over. Uh, and I found this with the smock pipe as well, which I have here. Uh, and the smock pipe I got at uh, Vapefest in one of the raffle prizes, or in my raffle prize. Uh, and it does, it falls over all the time. So you need to have something there that you can rest it against, a little pipe rest. Uh, it's a shame that they don't make these a little bit heavier um, on this side. Um, because then that would stay upright because you can't do it that way because it falls over. That's the smock pipe uh, and the cross is the same. It will just fall over. doesn't matter which way you put it round um, with the atomizer on, it's just too heavy. So uh, you do need something either to sit it on like that or something for your atomizer to rest on unless you're going to just put it flat. So. Uh, those are the things there. We'll just uh, actually we'll leave it on for a second. I'll show you the extension tube. Keep it in shot for you. Show the extension tube, uh, and that's just a case of taking off the battery compartment. 
end, put that that way up, uh, and then you can do one of two things, you can either screw this in first, or you can screw the battery end cap in first. It's very nicely built, I have to say, it's, it's good, thick steel, um, which is nice. Put your 18650 in, and then you can just screw that on. And now you've got even more power uh, and a larger pipe, but you're still going to have the issue of it falling over. Um, because that's just the way this is. Uh, it's um, bizarre. It's almost worse, actually. In fact, it is worse um, because the center of gravity is too high. Uh, if this was in the middle, slightly lower, then the center of gravity would be a little bit lower. So it, would, it is a case of lying it flat or having a stand to put it on. Um, but it's actually uh, a nice, let me zoom out for you, it's a nice size 18650, uh, as it is 18350. And if I just show you the smock pipe against the cross, 18350, 18650. Um, it's almost like a hammer, <laughs> in some senses, uh, the way that that comes up. So, that's the, uh, that's the cross mod, variable voltage. Uh, it is 49.98 at UK6 store. Uh, we'll have a look at the atomizer that comes with it, uh, and uh, we'll fill it with some juice. And the juice I've got today is Rich Bean Rocket. Rich Bean Rocket, yes, this is one of the Wismix um, bottles, again, from Vapefest, uh, that I'm almost through now. I've probably got about eight or nine bottles to get through. Um, so this is a coffee juice, uh, so we'll put that in here. I want to see what it's like, so uh, let's come back and look at this in a second. This is the cross atomizer that comes bundled with the mod itself, uh, and like I said, it's a bottom-fed atomizer. An ego thread in. Comes apart for cleaning and for re-wicking or rebuilding, and it comes into a few sections. We have the tube. I'll put it that way, then it won't roll around. Uh, we've got the tube that takes the vapour from the bottom to the top. Um, quite a wide, quite a wide mouthpiece. Um, so I don't know what the uh, drawer is going to be like, but we shall see. The atomizer head is removable, rechangeable, and definitely re-wickable. These ones are so easy to re-wick. Uh, in fact, I did one only yesterday on a different clearmizer, uh, and it takes you 10 minutes tops to do one of those. Um, so that should be interesting. And it's just simply a case of screwing it back on. Nice and finger tight, not over tight, because you'll never get the damn thing off otherwise. Um, screw in the tube again. Now, I'm not exactly sure whether this is Pyrex or um, polycarbonate. It feels like Pyrex, but I don't know. I will double check on the website um, and, um, and see. It doesn't tell me, I have to say. I'm looking at the, uh, the website now. It's a stainless steel tank, but it doesn't tell me whether it is or whether it's not um, Pyrex. But judging from the thickness of it, I would think it's probably not. But we'll see. We'll see when I put a juice in that it doesn't like. <laughs> so, there we go. Slots back in very nicely uh, and screws together. And there's O-rings at the top and at the bottom to prevent leakage. And uh, because it's bottom coiled, it is also bottom filled. So, we'll take the bottom off again. And we shall put some of this rich bean rocket from eSig Wizard into it. And it's the same with any of these, with the EVODs, etc. Squeezy, squeezy, missing the uh, middle tube. And uh, until you get the desired milliliters, uh, of course, making sure that you don't go above the center of the tube. 
and there we go that's just to the top and it is around about two mils because it's taken quite a lot of that um, so screw the bottom section back in turn it upside down and a couple of seconds you're ready to rock and roll so we'll let that soak in we'll put on the device back in the studio and we shall see how this vapes and we'll also see what this uh, liquid tastes like see you in a minute well a minute is more like you know a couple of seconds isn't it <laughs> um forgot to mention it it does have a, a hole in the uh, the battery end cap uh, for venting um, and the tube actually comes out from the tank as well so i will have a look at that um i'm kind of in two minds whether it is pyrex or polycarbonate um it looks like pyrex but i'll have to take it out and uh, i shall let you know next week um because i'll have uh, raped all this and it's 2.8 mils uh, not two mils i was off on the wrong track when i recorded that uh, too much of the 26 milligram um the rich bean rocket oh my word um i love my coffee juices and this is really really nice i love it um got it in the 18350 configuration uh, and um it is very tasty i will say that if you're going to put it in your pocket if you get one um, the button is very, very sensitive, so you will need to turn it off, otherwise you're going to be heating yourself up rather quickly. Um, I've, I've kind of laid it down on a cushion uh, and it's, uh, it's started to fire, so it is a very sensitive button. Um, it's, um, yeah, I, I, I'm kind of liking the pipes. Um, like I said in that VT, I've got the smock pipe, um, which is more of the um, pushy button on the top. Um, and yes, I saw in chat there, weird place for the button. Um, this one's in the right place uh, for me. Uh, this is a little bit weird, um, but still rather nice little device. And it's 49.98, so a couple of p under 50 squids um, from UK eSigs. Yes. So uh, I shall be persevering with this. I'll be taking it away tomorrow down to London and using it there. And you never know, I might get the video camera out um, while I'm down there doing nothing uh, after or before Dave's show tomorrow night, which is at nine o'clock so don't forget um, he will be there with the ITN crew and um, so it's going to be a rather interesting show and he will also be telling us about his exploits um, that he's going down to London tomorrow with the letter and hopefully a wheelbarrow yes to put it in so Dave is here tomorrow at nine o'clock don't forget also he's here on Thursday at nine with the Hayes Hour Dave Kitson is here on Sunday at nine o'clock with Dave's Tackle Box the boys are back, Mark and Gary are back on Monday with Tin Your Tip, and I will be here next Tuesday with Vaporscene. Don't forget also that in about 10 minutes, um, and the link will be in chat, DE Talk will be on if you're a German talker, uh, and if not, you can head over to RY4 Radio. Uh, it's Rob on Tuesdays, um, so uh, you can also head over to that. I will see you all next week, and I'm just looking for my credits, and here they are. <laughs> I'll see you all next week. So. Tune in tomorrow night. I shall be in chat. See you later. Tatty bye. Hardly sponsored by Health Evade, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.